tu 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 the box for the looks and link for Oculus Rift is. The stores are open, so go check it out now! Okay, so there is one main difference for this model, which is the shape of the EG sensors. Originally, it was this mask type, but we have changed this to the silicon pad type so that it fits better on your forehead. And by doing so, the device becomes a little bit slightly lighter so it'll be more comfortable for the user. I guess you could say it's only one change. And that it works for Oculus Rift test, so I guess it's two in here. But anyways, ahead of the first shipments, let me show you how to put your looks and link onto your Oculus Rift test in this video. So here we have the box for the looks at link. You can see that it's pretty much the same as this previous model for the Vive and Vive Pro. But the only difference is that when you get this model, you'll get a sticker which has a label for the looks at link Oculus Rift S. So make sure you check this out before you open it. And now let me do the honors and open the box. So in the top compartment, just like in the looks at link for Vive, you'll see the hub. And in the bottom compartment, wrapped neatly in bubble wrap, you'll see the different parts that you will be using for the looks at link for Oculus Rift S. You have the you have the EEG pad, and you can see that the mounting has also changed a bit to hold both pieces together. And inside the box, you'll also see your warranty and other information. So please make sure to, lay, to take a look at these, these documents inside. So there you have, we'll have the warranty claiming process, you have the safety guidelines, everything to make sure that you'll be safe. And if you have any other questions, you have a card that says, that gives you the addresses of the places that you can go visit. And your mounter will come in in this Ziploc bag. So make sure to take that out. So let me open the wrap for the EG pad. So it's going to be sealed inside this bag. And then it will have another seal, another case inside that prevents your sensors from being from being damaged while in the delivering process. And now you're ready to go. Now, for real, all things aside, let's start putting your link together. Bring your Oculus Rift S, and here you see the mounter. Make sure to put the, this side on the part that connects the lenses to your band, which we will call the bridge. Make sure you will see that on both sides it will have two protruding parts, which you will just insert like this. And if placed properly, the mounter will move and will be in place. Now let's set the assembled piece aside for a second, and let's talk about the EEG pad for a moment here. Under any circumstance, do not pull the cable. Your life will be over. Just kidding. If you pull the cable hard enough, the cable might disconnect from the pad. And if this is the case, send us an email at support at looksitlabs.com and we will instruct you on how to put this back. But under no circumstances, try to put it back together by yourself because if you do so, you might put it in the wrong direction which might damage the connector in the end. So we don't want that. If you look at your Oculus Rift S, on the bottom, there will be a button that can be used to move the headband. As seen right now. So pressing on the button, pull on the headband as far as it will go and this will create enough space for your EEG sensors to be placed here. We're going to put these parts of the pad into 
the sockets on the on the bouncer that you connected to the bridge. So we want to make sure that when you place it, four sensors are on the bottom over here. And take the magnetic connector with your other hand. We want to place it so that the line that connects both passes through this gap between the headband and the lenses. Like this. And rest it here for a while. You want to make sure that these two parts over here go right over here. It will go like this in the end. But when you do so, important point here is that you want to make sure that these sides, if you see closely enough, there are these rectangles that stick out from the protruding ends. We want these parts to go into the holes. You see the, the indention here? on both sides of the mounter. And if you see closely, you can see over here that the indention, the, the part that stuck out went into the indention on this side and on this side as well. So this way, it will secure your pad onto a spot. Now, what we're gonna do is take the magnetic connector which you place to the side for a second and put it onto the respective side on the hub like this. And finally, you want to place these protruding parts on the hub over here, this and this, into the holes of the hub that you see over here. By placing them your looks at link for Oculus Rift S will should be look should be looking like this. And now we're gonna go to the last part of this instruction video. So I got a little cold there for a second, but anyways, let's continue. The last part of this video, we're gonna connect the cable that will connect to your hub to power it from your computer. You will notice that there the this cable has a USB port and a micro B port. What we're going to do first is connect the micro B end of the cable to the respective port on the hub over here. When you connect it, make sure that it's in the right, correct orientation. Okay, so there you go. Now, what we're going to do is that you're going to notice that the cable is freaking long. It's five meters. But then what we don't want you to experience is getting tangled up in the wires because the wire for your Oculus Rift S is also extremely long. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the cable that powers your hub, your looks at link, onto the cable that powers the Oculus Rift S. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna intertwine the cables like this and we're gonna use the cable ties to hold them in place. So uh, let me explain how to use this. You're going to notice that there's a thin end and a long end, a thick end. We're going to place the cables on this side of the thin of the cable tie on the thin end. And we're going to pass the thin, the end through the hole of the cable tie. And then we're going to wrap the remaining part over it. So let me show you the thin part. We're going to place a cable there. And then we're going to pass the thin end to the hole to grab it, place it into position. And then we're going to wrap the remaining part of the cable type over it so that it stays in place. And we're going to repeat this so that the cable ties are around 50 to, centime 50 to 70 centimeters away from each other. And yeah, let's continue. 2,000 years later. Okay, so with that, 
you have the power line in place so that you don't have experience any difficulties while you use your device. So once you're done with all your cables, all you have to do now is turn the slider knob on. On this side of the Luxit link of the hub, you'll see that it's the, the slider knob will be red and the LED light will be turned off. Once you connect the power line for the hub for your Luxit link, switch this slider knob on and then you'll see that the knob will be green and that the LED also turns on. Make sure that when you slip this, it slide it on and you don't do it with excessive force so that it doesn't break or it so that it doesn't damage the internal circuitry and there you go well guys this is the end of the video thank you for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel you guys are the best and